Hi, welcome back to this another wonderful session of CAD question of the day initiative. And I'm Kamal Lohia. All of you are familiar with me already. So uh, in this question, uh, we are going to talk about series, right? It's a question based on geometric progression. I have named it mysterious GP, right? Uh, don't go by the namesake. There used to be a, there is still, I guess, uh, very famous uh, personality <laughs> in, in our country. Uh, but right now, this GP here we are talking about geometric progression, right? Geometric progression is a part of your uh, algebra, right? It's a part of your algebra uh, in CAT specifically when we talk about. And you have studied it in uh, your school level also, classes 10th and 11th. In class 10th, you studied about some, something about uh, progressions. And in class 11th also, uh, you continue that if you have studied mathematics there. Anyhow, so if you are preparing for CAT, you are already familiar with that. And if you are familiar with this, uh, still you may be confused in this mysterious part here. And if your concepts are very nice, so believe me, this question is worth doing within seconds, right? Within seconds, you can answer this question if your concepts are nice. And uh, don't worry, if you think that your concepts are not good, sir, I have not seconds in seconds. If that is the case, so don't worry. After learning the process and uh, afterwards, whenever you solve such a question, you should be able to do that, right? I, I hope that all of you get that confidence after this short session okay so but before that uh, i'm giving you time as usual solve this question on your own i'm just getting a site so it's your time solve this question on your own first right pause or uh, take a screenshot whatever way you wish but solve it your time starts now okay so I hope you have solved it. And if you have not solved it, then I will give you the answer to your devs. Please go back and solve the question yourself. You will learn it when you will do it yourself. Otherwise, you are not going to benefit much. Right? So if you want to get the real benefit, the complete benefit, so it is very much required that you solve on your own. Right? And then see if you have got struck anywhere. So how you can have moved from there. Or if you have done it, that's also very nice. Still, you can see that could there be some other approach? Is there any better approach? Maybe uh, you can learn something, right? Then that's what we are trying to do. Okay, so let's read it together now. It says, the product of the first five terms of a geometric progression is 1024. Now it's talking about the product, right? So generally, generally uh, when we talk about a series, like a geometric progression here, so normally we are taught about the sum of the series, right? Some of the terms, some of the n terms, some of the infinite terms of a GP, uh, provided the common ratio is uh, uh, maybe less than one, right? Uh, it's a numerical value, the magnitude is less than one, right? Maybe negative, positive, whatever. In that case, we can find out the sum of the infinite terms. We can find the sum of the n number of terms if we know the first term, common ratio like that, right? Lekin ye product to hume sikhaya hi nahi, right? So sometimes people are, uh, unaware, unaware about the basic concepts, the product of the terms of a geometric progression. So the product of five terms is given to be 1024 and question is asking find the fifth term if the fourth term is 12, right? So as I already mentioned, question is very simple, very simple provided you understand what is the concept of product of the terms of a geometric progression. Okay, let's come back, uh, here and try to understand. See, as in arithmetic progression, what happens when we talk about arithmetic progressions, you see in an arithmetic progression, uh, each term is added to the number, right? Each term is added to the number. For example, let me take uh, some numbers, right? That will become easier for you to understand. So what happens in case of uh, arithmetic progression, some number is added, right? For example, if I'm writing some term 1, then uh, 3, then 5, then 7. Do you recognize it is an AP or not? Yes. AP is that term in which that common difference, the difference between any two consecutive norms, terms in the same order is same or is common, right? This common difference you can see here it is plus 2. So every term is getting added by 2, increased by 2, increased by 2, increased by 2, like that. Yes or no? If I move further also, it would be 9, then next would be 11, then next would be 13. In the same order, right? Increased by 2, increased by 2 and so on. And we can go on increasing it, right? All of you are familiar with that, right? This is actually taught. This is taught. But what is the important concept? The concept here is, the concept here is that if you 
add first and last term, second and second last term, third and third last term, like that. So each terms, each pair of the terms, uh, first, last, second, second, last, like that, the sum is going to be constant, right? In this case, if you see 1 plus 13, it is was 14, right? The 1 plus 13 is 14, right? Same way next, 3 plus 11, that is also 14, right? 3 plus 11, that is also 14. Same way 5 plus 9 is also 14. 5 plus 9 is also 14, right? And what is this middle number? Middle number is just average of the two, right? It's just average of the two. In other words, uh, if you see here, so 1 plus 13 was 14. So if you find out the average of these two terms, what it is going to be? So 14 ka average, that is uh, 7 each, right? 14 by 2, that is 7 each, so 7, 7. Same way, a uh, sum of 3 and 11 is 14. So what would be their average? Again, 7, right? 7, 7, 7 each. Same way, 5 and 9 ka average, 7 each, right? And this 7, this middle number is average. So basically, uh, it is average, right? It is simple average. Okay, now let's come to let's come to the GP part, which we are talking about here. So in case of GP, what happens? In case of GP, what happens? Again, I'm talking with the numbers, right? I'm talking with the numbers that becomes easier. It becomes easier for you to understand. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, I'm taking some numbers. Let's see here. I'm taking some numbers. So this is one, then this is three, and this is nine. What should be the next number? Are you are you sensing? Are you getting a sense of GP? What is GP? GP is that in which uh, the ratio of the two consecutive numbers in same order remains same or common, right? So it's three by one is three, right? Yeah, in other words, I can say one is being multiplied with three, right? We can say like that as well. So one is being multiplied with three, right? And the same term uh, in the same order should be there. Same pattern should be there in the next terms as well. So this uh, second term, when it is multiplied by 3 again, so we get the next number, next term here, we are getting this next term 9, the ratio 9 by 3 is same 3, right? So this uh, the ratio between any two conjugate number is common, so then we call it a GP or geometric progression, right? The so same way, it's very easy now, you can comprehend further. So what would be the next term? So 9 times 3, that is 27, right? It is obtained uh, in the same manner, 9 times 3, and same way, the nine, next term would be nine. Uh, this 27 times 3, how much it is? So oh, that is 81, like that. Okay, na? I hope you are getting the idea. Okay, so uh, what is the important concept here which we need to understand? So as I did in the last case, as we found there, that sum of the numbers, the terms pairwise was equal, right? Same way in the case of geometric progression, listen very, very carefully. In case of a geometric progression, not the sum, but the product is going to be same. See, so one multiply with 81 how much it is it is 81 right okay now this 3 multiply with 27 is how much is again 81 right <laughs> and this middle number again we are having odd number of terms here this middle number is 9 Achha, uh, what is the relation of this 9 with this 81 so as i said earlier if i found their average in that case that was 7 each right 7 plus 7 because they were being added right now this time they are being multiplied. So this time that is called the geometric average, right? Geometric average. That means uh, what equal numbers would have been multiplied to give you 8 even 9 each, right? So 9 becomes the geometric mean there. So same way 3 and 27 is 81, their product is 81. So what would be their average, the geometric average? So which equal numbers? Same 9 into 9. And this middle number is nothing but that same geometric average. So basically this middle number here is known as geometric mean right it is geometric average it is simply geometric average or square root of this product we can say right and same way in case of an ap the middle number was arithmetic average or arithmetic mean right which is obtained by arithmetic average or simply the sum divided by two of the any pair right any pair maybe the first and last pair second second last pair and so on Fine, that was the basic concept okay now let's quickly come to the question so understanding all this part now this question becomes Second question, right? Second question. So what is given? The product of the first five terms, right? See the five, five is an odd number. So five terms means first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. So we are having odd number of terms. That means uh, this central term is simply going to be the geometric mean, right? Central term here, the third term is certainly going to be the geometric mean. Now what is given? The product of the first five terms of a geometric progression is 1024 1024 right so the product of all these five numbers is 1024 if it is x then their product is going to be equal to x square yes or no yes 
their product is also going to be equal to x square. Yes or no? Yes, that's what we have discussed. That's what we have just discussed, right? That means this 1024 is nothing but product of all these, right? So this 1024 is basically product of all these four, x square, x square into x, that is x power 5. Or directly also we can say this middle number raised to power 5, that is equal to 1024. Are you getting that? Okay, right? Oh, Baba, we have talked about this now. Look here. 1 into 81 is equal to 3 into 27 is equal to this 9 square. 9 is acting as average. If I put these two numbers equal to equal, then what does it do? 9, 9, right? Same with 3 and 27 equal to equal. Bana deta so that the conditions remain same. So they would have to be 9, 9. So because 9 is the geometric mean, so it is as good as that each term becomes equal to 9. Right? All the conditions will remain same. It will still remain the GP. It will still having the same product. Right? Now, same thing we are using here. So, whatever this middle number is. So, if I make all other numbers also same. So, the product will still remain 1024. So, basically that is that is the thing here. So, this x power 5 is 1024. Now, 1024 you must be easily familiar with. Right? It is 2 power 10. So, 1024 is nothing but 2 raised to power 10. And I wanted 5 here. It clearly means that uh, this is 2 square raised to power 5 or basically 4 raised to power 5 or in other words I can say this x is equal to 4. So basically I got this third term right I got this middle term here with the geometric mean of these five terms. Is that clear? Fine. Okay now getting this it is very easy thing right just seeing the number we could easily figure out it is 4 raised to power 5 that means the third term is 4 here right the third term is 4 here. Now what is uh, being given and what is being asked now let's see. So it says find the fifth term. I need to calculate the fifth term. Right. What is given? Fourth term is 12. Right. Fourth term is 12. Let me put here. So this x we already got it is 4. This is 4. This is 4. Fourth term is 12. Fourth term is next term. This is 12. And this is being asked. Can you people answer? Why not, sir? It is a very easy thing. We know that it is a GP. It's a geometric progression, which means the same ratio is going to continue. So it is 4 times 3. That is 12, right? So now this next term is going to be what? 12 times 3, which is 36. Yes. So this was multiplied with 3 here. So this is also going to be multiplied with 3, which gives you 12 times 3. That is 36. So this is the required answer. Fine. I hope you may have understood and this is really very good thing. So if with all these questions, I'm not just giving you answer to a particular question. You are trying to understand the whole concept behind that. And with that increased conceptual understanding, you can deliver your best in the examination. All the best. Thank you very much.